Hello, my friends out there. This is Evan, your friend in some really, really exciting tutorials in Photoshop and not only that, of course. Today, I will show you my technique in order to disappear the old and dull, bad looking backgrounds that everybody has used uh, at least once in some photo projects. So I will convert this uh, old looking, bad looking, whatever you call it, background into some really elegant and high key, I should say, background for our models. So the only thing that we have to do is Photoshop our photograph and of course, one super adjustment layer. So I will select here from the adjustments panel if you don't see this panel you just go to the window select adjustments and then the, we only have to select this one the selective color and magic will happen my friends so click here and then i will go to the whites i will take this slider in the black you see and i will take it all the way to the left you see a big difference already everything has turned to white or let's say to whiter and in the neutrals I will do the same thing and voila the whole background is pure white but we have a little problem our model is much more whiter than before no problem with the help of the masks we will select the selective color I will take a brush I will right click I will use a soft brush you see that zero percent and of course the size uh, it will be changed in order to, you know, select the whole area of the model. And of course, I will use a black paint over the white uh, mask. Actually, we will hide this effect on the black painted areas. And so we will uh, keep the white on the background. And of course, we will uh, take away the whole other, uh, you know, brightness over our model. You know, everybody at least once has used this uh, you know bad looking uh, seat as a background but uh, you know it's not always good and of course you have a lot of trouble afterwards in the post production if you have so many photos to work uh, once i did that for my own business uh, i used to shoot a lot of uh, models uh, in a hip hop clothes shop and uh, it was really a big headache to try to take away this old bad looking uh, seat as a background and create an elegant wonderful effect actually i will take the brush on the uh, over 100 percent and this will help me uh, take away the whole problem right away so i had a really problem with my hip hop project clothes shop uh, and actually i have to try to find a way in order to get rid of that bad looking uh, background really fast and accurate and then i found out that the selective color adjustment layer can really do the job for me and i think we are uh, already done of course we can use some uh, make some edits i will just click out and see where i can actually increase or uh, paint away with my black you know spot over here you see that here i will just uh, uh, re uh, replace actually uh, invert let's say with my X in the keyboard and I will take away this uh, gray over here and I think now it looks pretty good and of course here and you know it is a procedure that uh, in the start you have to work it just a tiny bit in order to find it to find the best way for your own project but you know it's a technique that uh, you can easily create uh, an action and use it really fast and accurate every time you have uh, a bad looking white background i think now it looks pretty good of course i will have to duplicate this uh, adjustment again in order to make it more bright and wipe out these shadowy areas in the back check this out i will just duplicate this one and boom voila it is ready the only thing that i have to do is to soften this effect you see that uh, i have uh, you know i have forgot some areas and uh, with a you know copy and pasting of the second adjustment it has been more strong those uh, forgotten areas now but no problem we can just uh, hide those areas with black paint 
over the mask of the adjustment. The masks is a really great thing in Photoshop and uh, you know you have to learn them in order to create some good things inside Photoshop. And I think my uh, result is really good for you know some really fast work. Of course I can just uh, alt click here and see where I have some details to take away. Let's say this white hair over here, alt click again and of course now I can come here and uh, bring out this line of hair and of course you can just uh, do that again and again and actually uh, take away only the parts that you like. As you can see now I have uh, inverted my color in white and now I'm hiding my stuff, you see that? So I can uh, make my effect even better. Now we'll go back to the black and I will make this uh, area of the face better again and I think you understand the procedure of course here and it is really good looking and last but not least we have to brighten up the model because right now she's looking really uh, not a part of this uh, scene because the scene is really white and our model is not so white so I will go and I will select a curves adjustment and I will just brighten up the whole part and my model right now is a bit uh, more uh, brightened you see that but she looks even better and actually she's la she's now a part of this elegant high key element and scene let's say and last but not least we will hide away this problematic area over here so new layer I will select my marquee I will just select this one and I will go to edit, fill and of course I will use the white as contents, OK and we are done. So in under let's say 10 minutes I have fixed my photograph and the old background and the old room, I don't know what this is but I think it's a bug but the bug is gone right now and the whole model now really looks much more better. If the photo was mine I will actually uh, crop it so I will use the crop tool and I will uh, just uh, have it, let's say, like here or maybe more, uh, you know, short. And now I think my photo looks really, really elegant. I hope I helped you with my uh, tutorial. And of course, if you liked my work, please hit the like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe in order to watch all my tutorials, all my previous tutorials and all my next tutorials, my upcoming tutorials from now on. Have fun, my friends, and keep photoshopping.